everybody. I just received my Rody 2. I got it in the mail today. I was the 200th Kickstarter. And I finally got it in the mail today. Um, so this is the packaging. Um, I took the tape off the sides to make the box opening a little bit easier for the camera. But here is the box. It seems pretty nice. Nice high quality box. Okay. So here we go. Like I said, I took the tape off. It was on all four corners, but here's the roadie box. Yeah, um, initial impressions, it reminds me of like an Apple product. The cardboard seems to be pretty high quality. So here's the roadie too. Let's take a look at this top. I'm sorry, it's actually kind of thick. Let's take a look here. Like we have our manual, pretty thick manual we have here. I'll have to take a look at these. Nice quality booklet there, and we have in here a USB to looks like a USB C. Yeah, looks like a USB C connection. Here we have some foam, and then here is the Ruby 2. It's a little hard to see. Maybe they should do a, a contrast here with the, the insert here. Make them a little nicer. So it's just a bubble insert. Maybe if they did like a white or a white or black or something. I don't know. It's really hard to see in the package. But here it is, Ruby 2. After a year or so, very nice. Up top here is supposed to be an LCD. Over here is the dial. I'm not sure of the instructions yet, so I've never used one of these before. So let's try it out on my guitar. Let's see if it turns on. Well, I guess I may have to charge it initially. There's no buttons or anything on here. But uh, there it is. There's the Rode 2. Very nice. Okay, so I just figured out how to turn it on. I haven't read the instructions yet, so there's a dial here for the settings. And right here is the power button on the side. So if you hit this button here, power's on, it's got a nice blue light. Very cool looking. And uh, here are the settings. So I guess I have to add an instrument. Um, okay, it takes a second to, for the dial to register. Electric, classical. Ukulele. Very cool. I don't own most of these instruments. I do own a ukulele and an electric guitar, a couple electric guitars, so I guess I would use that. And I own a six string. Let's give it a 12. Very cool. Give it a name. I'll give it a name later. So I added my instrument. So let me go get my guitar. I will uh, try to tune it. Okay, here is my guitar. Um, I just adjusted the pegs on it, so it should be out of tune. Yeah, definitely out of tune. So let's see how. So I just received an error here. Um, so we will start. Okay. E2. String here. Okay, it fits right on there. Now I'm not the best angle because I'm trying to record this. Maybe I can. Yeah, no, it's not really the best angle. I can do this. Let me pluck it here. Neat. Okay, that one gave me a green okay. Alright, now we go over to A2, which is the next string up. Let's place it on there and pluck it. Let's see, make sure I pluck it one more time here. Okay, that one's in tune. It gave me a green light. Okay, 
Hey, that one. So you got the wrong string. Let me try again. No, I guess I have to move over because it tuned it. Cool. Still on D3, let's try again. Try one more time. Okay, that one's in tune. Oh. It's trying to rotate again after it's in tune. I'm not sure why. It moved over before I got to finish tuning it. So let me go back to D3. Okay, so you have to take it off right away. Got a green light there for a split second. Now I'll go over. Oh, it's on G3 now. works next so it looks like you have to take it off right away hmm. yay so we're in tune now the standard e tuning all right sounds in tune to me so this looks like a pretty cool device. I'll be using it often. Um, it seems, as you saw, that it automatically tunes and then like keeps going without me really taking it off the peg. I don't know if there's a sensor in here. It doesn't look like there's one. Um, I don't know why that is, but this is a pretty cool device. Um, I got it off of Kickstarter. I think I backed it for $79. I believe now it's like a, a, over 100 if you purchase it uh, in the store. Overall, pretty cool device. Um, I will be using it for my guitars and my one ukulele that I own. So uh, it's a, looks pretty cool for my first impressions. All right, great. Thanks.